Polling shows she's still moving forward. Let's be fair. CNN hates that a Republican minority woman could be the first female president. It would blow up their whole narrative. It's the same reason nobody covered the first female black lieutenant governor of Virginia. But Haley is an alternative to Trump. So at least for a little while, CNN might hold a few of their punches. Steve Bannon will not. Haley as VP threatens the MAGA base. She also virtually assures a Trump victory. 307 days to election today, and the Republican Civil War is coming. Mike Huckabee here, former Arkansas governor, ran for president in 2008, knows a thing or two about coming from behind and surprise victories in a state like Iowa. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Um, why, just, just from an analysis standpoint, why is Nikki Haley so threatening to the Trump, sort of the ultra-Trump wing of the Republican Party? I think there's a concern that she's taken the endorsement and the support of the Koch brothers. They're not really mainstream Republicans. They're libertarian. Uh, they don't embrace a lot of the social issues that Republicans are very strong on that matter a lot to uh, Republicans, not just the so-called MAGA Republicans, but to all Republicans. And I think also uh, they represent the globalist wing of the party quite frankly, a part of the party that just no longer has a whole lot of uh, stick when it comes to uh, where the party is headed. A lot of folks have been frustrated with the globalists, those who would move manufacturing jobs out of America, and that's the mm -hmm. real concern. I, I don't think it's a personal issue, but I think it's a policy issue, and will she, in fact, embrace uh, a more aggressive uh, war policy? That is also a concern for many Republicans. Hey, look, you, you've heard her talk about full-throated support for Ukraine, through uh, full-throated support for Israel. Israel's probably a little sure. less controversial than, than Ukraine is. But I, I, get, I get then, based on your analysis, why a certain wing of the Republican Party would say she's not for us. And, and that's what primaries are. They're a, a, essentially a civil war inside of a party. But to so many of Trump's followers, he's a messianic figure, right? He can do no wrong. No matter what Trump says, He's got it right. He hires the best people on and on and on. And I'm wondering, if all of that's true, who are they to say that Nikki Haley is the VP wouldn't be the right person? There's a lot of people who could have said the same thing about Mike Pence in 2016 in a different way. Well, people will say these things, but quite frankly, whenever Donald Trump makes his announcement as to who his VP is, if it's Nikki Haley, everybody will think it's the best idea he ever had. So it's not really going to matter what people are doing now. It's sort of like there are, are intense rivalries going on within the, uh, what I'd call the not Trump lane. Uh, you know, there are three or four candidates still vying for trying to be number two. But whoever the nominee is, the Republicans are going to coalesce around that person. And the reason is, is because when their choice is Joe Biden or anybody else, the choice gets real clear. They'll vote for that person every day of the week and twice on Sunday. And they probably will vote twice on Sunday. Why the heck not? It's the new way we do it, <laughs> right? So go ahead. Back in, back in, yeah, back, back to the Chicago day. Look, you, you know something about coming from behind, right? Uh, you're, you, know, yeah. you shot, shocked everybody uh, in Iowa when you, when you won. I'm wondering if you're seeing, I, it, you know, history does not repeat itself at rhymes, or are you seeing any similarities to Nikki Haley up almost 10 or 12 points um, since before Christmas in New Hampshire? Uh, any, any similarities to that sort of unbelievable energy that happened to you in Iowa that's suddenly happening with Nikki Haley? I think it's happening with her in New Hampshire more so than Iowa. I'm not seeing that level of traction in Iowa. It's just there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm not saying she doesn't have support and that her support is growing, but I don't think she's in a position to win Iowa. She might be in a position to rival Ron DeSantis for the second slot, uh, but she's got some real momentum going on in New Hampshire, and that's where she could make her play. In 2008, is Trump I won Iowa, worried, John think? McCain won New Hampshire, and then it goes down to South Carolina, and somebody uh, winning that pretty much goes on. Is Trump world worried yet? No, I don't think so. I mean, if you take all the numbers of the other candidates, add them together, they're still not where Trump is. And, and that's where all of the other candidates are, are having to struggle. They're not yeah. really at a point where they're challenging Donald Trump's overwhelming lead. And it's not because people think he's perfect. Nobody thinks that. Heck, uh, you know, most of us would 
cringe at some of the things that he might tweet or say, but we do look at the policies that he had as president. And we also think that we're not sure there's anybody else who could stomach what he's been through. The constant uh, just yeah. harangue that he's been under from not just the political arm, but from the police state of the Biden administration, it's unprecedented. And it's quite frankly, a little bit frightening when a sitting president uses the power of the police state that he controls to try to take down his opponent, uh, not by ballots, but by taking them down through some legal maneuvers. Huh? We, we've seen Trump's support only get stronger each one of the indictments. So um, yeah. whether people agree, whether whether people like your analysis or not, it um, is based in fact, sir. Governor, it's good to see you. I know we'll talk a lot uh, this coming year. It's uh, always a pleasure. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.